December 1st, the holiday season has come to Gotham. Even without snow, the gray, weary city seems to sparkle in the cold. It's a time for celebration. For dreams to come true. And for angels of light and darkness. Near as we can tell, he ignited the gas in the cooling pipes and blew his cell open. And here I was hoping we'd have a peaceful Christmas for once. It's so strange. Victor Freeze was always one of our quieter inmates. He never tried to escape before. Any reason he'd do it now? No. Though he did seem somewhat different this week, always asking questions about the weather. For some reason, he wouldn't discuss. He kept asking if it would snow by tonight. Christmas Eve. When we told him the weather report said no snow until January, Freeze grew more sullen and depressed than usual. If that's possible. Hmm. Looks like he found a way to cheer himself up. The police band said an hour ago someone looted the warehouse that held all of Victor Freeze's cryogenic equipment. One of the items taken was an experimental snowmaker. It's safe to assume that same device created by Victor Freeze, scientist, is now being trained on Gotham by Mr. Freeze, madman. Freeze's story is as tragic as they come. A brilliant inventor, he created a unique way of freezing the terminally ill till a cure could be found. His first patient was his own wife, who had been stricken with inoperable cancer. But the heartless corporation funding the project deemed it too costly and ordered it shut down. This is my experiment! Your unauthorized experiment. I ordered funding suspended weeks ago. Can't stop it now. My wife is in there. You can't interrupt the process now! Open it. No! Stay away from her! Murderer! It doesn't have to come to this. We can talk. In the ensuing struggle, Victor Freeze was exposed to his own supercooling, which rendered him unable to live out of a sub-zero environment. His wife's body was lost in the explosion. With his only reason for living gone, Mr. Freeze now claims to be dead to human emotion. Anyone who'd call down a blizzard like this on Christmas Eve would have to be. Frazzin, frazzin, piece of junk! Get some chains. Yes, sir! the weapon's power core. 
Another shot could cause it to backfire. But to rid myself of you, I'll take that chance. Christmas, so I'll give you one chance to end this quietly. Why'd you do it, Freeze? Tonight, of all nights. We were married ten years ago, on a snowy Christmas Eve. Nora loved the snow, and I thought it sad that there should be none this year, and I wouldn't want my Nora to be sad tonight. for St. Patty's Day. Hey, hey, hey. Happy New Year, Kamish. I heard your buddy had a rough night. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't show this time. And break our tradition? In fact, unless I miss my guess, that's him now. How's that arm? Better than the Joker's. Close one this time. Mm. They're all close ones. Well, here's to survival. Hopefully, we'll be doing this again next New Year's Eve. Hopefully. And now, Joe, if I could get one of your famous cheese steaks to go, I'll be ready to call it a night. Anything for you? One of these years, I'm going to beat him to the check. Thank you. 